In a horrifying revelation, it has been reported that a group of cartel members has been responsible for the gruesome murder of 5,000 people using chainsaws. The details of their barbaric acts will shock you. Two men who worked for the infamous Sinaloa cartel made a grave error by stealing from their employers, a mistake they paid for with their lives. The deaths of Felix Gomez Garcia and his uncle, Barnabas Gomez Castro, in 2011 were particularly gruesome. They were recorded on camera when such violence was not widely available online. Their execution is considered one of the first cartel execution videos to be uploaded for the world to see. The impact of their deaths must have been especially shocking before we were accustomed to witnessing worldwide atrocities online. The Sinaloa cartel is thought to have been responsible for the murders. As this was the criminal organization the two men were working for, the cartel was founded in 1989 during the fallout of another brutal killing. DEA agent Enrique Kiki Camarena and now the defunct Guadalajara cartel, Camarena had reportedly blown the lid on a major marijuana plantation, which authorities subsequently destroyed, causing the Guadalajara organization to lose an estimated yearly income of $8 billion. Camarena was kidnapped, tortured, and executed in retaliation. In recent years, the public has been increasingly aware of crime, thanks partly to its portrayal in the popular Netflix series Narcos. One of the cartel's high-profile murders resulted in the wrath of the DEA. This pressure led to the organization's effective shutdown and fragmentation into several groups, including the powerful Sinaloa cartel. The killing of Camarena was a turning point in the war on drugs, as the gang had crossed a line. The story clarified what would happen to those who opposed these dangerous individuals and their soldiers. Law enforcement officials, as were anyone who harmed the Sinaloa cartel, were on the hit list. Some cartel members believed they could steal from their employers and get away with it, leading to desperate or misguided behavior. The victims on the video are Felix Gomez Garcia and Barramas Gomez Castro, who were an uncle and nephew, respectively. It is known that they were connected to the Sinaloa cartel, as Felix worked for El Cholo, the organization's security chief. El Cholo was a prominent figure in the cartel led by Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, who is now behind bars. These executions were carried out as punishment and a warning from the Sinaloa cartel. Felix and Barnabas delivered this warning, albeit under duress, cautioning viewers not to steal from the cartel and revealing the inevitable and violent consequences that would follow. Viewers were also warned not to disclose private cartel business. Although it is suggested that the Gamezas may have stolen from the cartel, there is limited information about the video's background, making it unclear whether the Sinaloa cartel was interrogating the pair on camera. While the video is brutal and straightforward, there is uncertainty about the involvement of the Sinaloa cartel, with some speculating that a rival cartel may have captured and killed the Gamezas. Despite the brutality depicted in the video, there is no definitive answer as to who was responsible. One of the most intriguing moments, if intriguing is the right word to use, is when Barnabas reveals the small amount he was paid by the cartel for a job he did. A shockingly meager 21. Being in that situation and receiving such a low wage, one can only imagine its impact on a person. It is possible that the two decided to take some extra money for themselves, considering the minimal reward they were receiving despite the significant risk to their lives. Barnabas states that their lives are worthless because they got involved with the Sinaloa cartel. This, coupled with the revelation of poor pay, is considered a bold statement to make in front of the men who will soon kill them. Some argue that this supports the idea that this is not the Sinaloa cartel, since Barnabas would not have made such statements in front of those who respect El Chapo. Alternatively, he may have felt like he had nothing to lose. Another thing we should point out is the general behavior of the men in the video. If someone is sitting there waiting for the end, you would think panic would set in. Instead, the nephew and his uncle are seemingly resigned to their grisly fate. They may have been drugged, as some have suggested. Either way, they are about to undergo a horrible ordeal. They appear to have already been roughed up, and worse is to come. Much, much worse. We are about to describe the deaths of Felix Gomez Garcia and Barnabas Gomez Castro. Why are we doing this when we could just play the video? It would be easy to do that, but we wouldn't want to subject you to such harrowing material. As those who have watched the video can tell you, once you've seen it, you never forget it. And we're sure that deep down, you don't want that image in your mind. Also, these poor men have been through enough without their final moments being shown for people's education and entertainment. You've seen the title of this video, How Cartel Members Murdered People With Chainsaws. They would use one to behead Barnabas Gomez Castro. 
his death being the quicker of the two. This could be because he wasn't directly involved, as Felix was. Barnabas reportedly says on the video that he started working with Sinaloa through his nephew. So while he had to die by their reckoning, it didn't have to be drawn out. This is our understanding of the events that took place, regardless of how it happened. How Barnabas met his end is incredibly horrific. We will not show any graphic content, but the details are disturbing. An unidentified cartel member wearing what appears to be combat gear walks into the frame carrying a chainsaw. Barnabas braces himself for his fate as the executioner puts the moving blade to his neck and cuts it off in three strokes. The first stroke draws significant blood, and the second apparently kills Barnabas. At this point, something even more terrible occurs. Barnabas falls onto his nephew, who is already being hit with the blood. The executioner moves in to finish the job, and while he does this, the blade touches Felix's arm. We cannot begin to imagine what was going through Felix's mind then, but he somehow manages to remain composed. This suggests that he was drugged or paralyzed with fear. When it's Felix's turn to be killed, an even more gruesome fate awaits him. Someone wearing a ski mask slowly severs his head from his body with a hunting knife, which takes over two agonizing minutes to finish. During this time, Felix makes dying sounds that will haunt whoever watches the video. Some have claimed that the sounds are the worst part. When Felix is finally dead and decapitated, there is one final indignity. His killer places his severed head on top of his back. The video ends with a message in red font, Esto le va a pasar a todos los dedos traidores. This is going to happen to all traitorous fingers. This message may not be clear enough to English viewers, but it is thought to refer to pointing fingers and speaking out when one shouldn't, serving as a warning from the cartel. This is not the first time cartels have used violent execution videos or methods like decapitation to convey their message. The reaction on the video went viral. Although it is disturbing to think about people watching a murder video as if it were a cat video or something similar, two men died in horrible circumstances and deserve to be respected in death. Unfortunately, cartel killings are commonplace, punishing anyone who gets in their way or those who oppose them. For example, in 2012, footage emerged of the Gulf cartel brutally killing their rivals, the Zetas cartel, similar to Gomez's video. Just like the nephew and his uncle, their shirts were removed. In 2010, a 14-year-old boy revealed that he had been forced to behead four people by the cartel of the South Pacific. After his arrest, he stated that he had done this under the influence of drugs. It is disturbing to think that cartels are committing such heinous acts and using young people to carry them out. Many commentators have noted that these execution videos reveal the real and unedited side of the cartel. This is precisely what the cartel wants to show. But people are also realizing how glamorized the cartel life is in shows like Narcos. The truth is that cartel members are paid poorly and lead violent lives, often tragically short. The impact of such videos on society is worrying, as people may become desensitized to violence and death. Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. See you in the next video.